Morning guys, happy new year. All the best for 2024. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you got all the presents you wanted and all the fishing gear. We're just out this morning. It's New Year's Day, it's January the 1st. It's quite a breezy morning, but that was expected. I can hear the wind sort of building as the night went on. It's uh, gusting 30, 34 kilometers an hour. So I thought I'd just come here on the river, fishing in a new place. <clears throat> just literally down on the green bit from the RNLI station and just opposite the beach um, it's got two rods out it's about seven o'clock quarter past seven I just cast out about two two casts one on each rod just had two crabs we're getting stripped at the minute but it's nice and flat calm I'll show you around in a second I've got my microphone on so you hope hope you can hear me all right <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit loaded with cold and flu. I got sore, gravelly throat, and I was coughing up chunks this morning. Nice and green and phlegmy. It's just what you needed. But yeah, I had a quiet evening last night. Stayed off the alcohol for us today. It's sort of detox. I've just been away at Christmas, visiting friends and family, and it's just nice to be catered for and put on for a while. Three or four nights here, and three, a couple of nights elsewhere, and visiting my mum and sister my daughters so yeah I thought I'd have a chill one last night keep off the alcohol get an early night and get out on the river I've not been since I broke up from work on the 23rd so I was itching to get out but I want to quickly show you around it's flat calm tide's not too bad it was a little bit pull all earlier on, but it's coming up to slack water now. It was uh, low tide at about half six, twenty to seven. The weed's not too bad. It seems to have died off at the minute. <clears throat> but literally, I'm casting. I've got two rods. I've got a three oak flapper, which is a two up and one down on the left one. And this one on the right is a three up clipped up rig or clipped down rig and literally the left hand one I'm casting nearly hitting the uh, metal stanchions over there and this one again not quite as far but opposite the, the sandy beach so how was your guys Christmas and New Year all good mine's been busy traveling driving you know visiting people but really enjoyable quite a heavy one this year so i'm just glad to sort of like detox and i made it my new year's resolution just to go for a dry january and go from there so since it's about nearly four and a half five years since i've had a cigarette pack that in but right today we're just going to see what we can catch and uh oh i've got a bike straight away hang on hang on we that's been rattling away. That was good timing. If I can get this in. I'm just fishing with. Uh, I haven't got two small on hooks today. The size fours and two O's. Two O's on the bottom, fours on the top two. But uh, I was just busy yesterday taking down declarations and having a bit of a clean and tied up because I've been away and stuff. I did want to get out and uh, I missed it. I missed it. Damn you. Missed it. That was rattling away like crazy. But uh, yeah, I did want to get out and come and get some rag and lug from the tackle shop here. It's a 40, 40 minute drive just to get some bait each way. So I thought, ah, oh, I've got plenty in the freezer. I've got loads of mackerel, loads of herring, which was fresh and I filleted it and backpacked it and froze it. I've got squid, uh, some of the white clean squid, some dirty squid. I've got king, uh, raw king prawns, cooked king prawns, some mussels. So I was just going to use that today and just get out and have a few hours fishing. And when I get back today, quick clean down. 
uh, probably won't edit this film till later because I want to get out tomorrow uh, do a bit of pike fishing with some dead baiting so well, I'm going to get this cast back out and I'll see you in a minute well lovely morning actually quite warm and that sort of wind seems to be dropping a little bit but what a fantastic start to the new year it was 8 degrees when I was driving here so probably going to get a bit warm and then uh, I was expecting but the river's full it's high we've definitely had slack water now and uh, I'm not sure what the time is I'll just check I'll just rebait it cast back out again oh We've got another bite straight away. Mm, come on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Come on. Here are a lot of those little rattles. A crabs crawling up the line. I have kept two little tiny little uh, peter crabs which I'm going to take the legs off and make some baits up in a minute well, I've got a boat absolutely flying in here better watch my line because that's near the far side hang on Well, he didn't have to give me much time to react. The old Ports Authority. There must be a boat coming in because I saw him go out earlier on. <coughs> but the tide is just uh, starting to turn. It's just starting to go to the left now. So it'll be on the flood. It'll be flooding back all day. And I think it's high tide about half past 12. I'm using it today. I've got two. Um, <coughs> excuse me, yeah. man flu. I'm losing my voice. I've got two. The usual, usual suspects. Two long casts, 14 foot. 
full carbon rods, the uh, long 420 long casts, tubular tips. On this one, I got a Shakespeare Salt XT 7000 mil, 45 pound eight strand Hercules braid, 55 pound ASIO shock leader, 70 pound rig body, and the three up clipped up or clipped down rig. Uh, 25 pound snoods, that's the uh, uh, what is it? Can't remember now. 25 pound mono, four hooks, some four bait holder hooks, and then I've got a 2 0 on the bottom one, just with mackerel and squid and heron and squid. And exactly the same on the other one, but that's with just the uh, Shakespeare salt. Oh, this one's the surf reel, sorry, that one's the XT wheel. It's a bit more rugged, the XT, a bit more solid, a bit more of a workhorse. Same lines, that's just a three up flapper rig on that one. Same hooks, two number fours and the two O on the bottom one. That's the, That one's a one down and two up. I just want anything today, anything, a white and a dab. Just want a few hours out. Been itching. So I'll finish on the, tw I'll finish the 23rd. And I've not been out. Finish the 23rd, did a bit of the old uh, Christmas wrapping on all this bit and bits and pieces finishing off and then the next day I was at my daughter's stayed over there had a nice dinner and a few drinks and then I was back and then she come back and her and her boyfriend was around for Christmas Christmas lunch and then this Christmas day my daughter was there till the 27th I dropped off at the train station and it's literally left from the train station straight down to Essex mum was down there staying at my sister's I'd three days there back up and I was absolutely knackered <laughs> I was noticing that it's not often that I have or very, it's been a very 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 long time since I had three nights on a trot gone past three o'clock in the morning it's quarter past three half past three and about half four and I think that's, that's what it's uh, giving me this cold just uh, partied a bit hard this year <laughs> but go ahead and let your hair down once a year visiting family and friends well I've seen family a couple of times a year but I've got lots of nice presents got a nice new sort of balaclava thermal sort of snood uh, some nice like a finger stool with uh, the gloves, uh, with the thermal glove and finger, it's just the thing, and they go round, and they got LED lights, one on the forefinger, one on the thumb. So when you're for night fishing or early morning, the, the good I try them is you light up your fingertips. So see what you're doing at night, which is really clever. Your usual usual suspects, socks and pants and deodorant and this bits and pieces. Anybody you go get guys anything nice? Any new rods, reels, Father Christmas bring you? I mean, I didn't want any of this year. I've got all the fishing gear in the world I need. And now, unless something wears out, breaks, and then desperately needs me to replace it, I think. Uh, I'm one of these people that. So I start fishing young, probably about six seven eight around there 
And obviously the first couple of rods that I've got and whatever I've got rid of. But probably from about 17, 18 years onwards, every time I've got myself a new rod and reel and it's not worth it's not worth uh, selling the other stuff, I just kept it. <clears throat> just upgraded all the time so I think I've got about knocking on 28 to 30 of the rods and reels you know anything from spinning rods or sort of six carp rods spod rod marker rod pike rods barber rods <laughs> coarse fishing rods feeder rods ledger rods bomb rods waggler rods of all various descriptions lengths and sizes and same with the reels Close face reels, carp reels, bait runner reels, spinning reels. I don't want it anymore. It uh, gets to a point where it's, oh, it's just, the shed's full, the cupboards are full. <laughs> I need to get start getting myself a uh, little fishing tackle shop or uh, build myself a a big shed in the garden, I think. Or a big secure shed. I wouldn't put all that in there for the shed. Enough for about 20 odd grand's worth of tackle. But this year I just thought, oh, I'll spend the money I want. Camera stuff. I've just bought a Pivo unit, which is like a remote control sits on top of your tripod, download an app, this AI, it follows your face, wherever you go it spins it around, so a couple of microphones, I should be getting myself another GoPro. Hi guys, hope you can see me alright, <coughs> that sun's blinding. So I'm having a little change of tactics, because it's on the flood now, um, there's a bit, a fair bit of weed starting to build up, so I just pulled them in. I've got rid of the three up clipped up rig. I just brought in a two up one down rig. I two white in. One in the middle snood, one on the top snood, which just dropped off at the wall. But only tiny little pin white in. But what I've done is, I'll get that back. With the other rod, with one of the little crabs, I've just done a basic pulley rig two up panel a two o and a three o oops what we done hooks everywhere one second right my shoelace is typical Okay. So what your basic pulley rig, three o and a two o. Three o is a Mustad Viking, up tide Viking, and a two o bait holder. I just put four bits of uh, <clears throat> muscle on there, strip of squid, or one of the hard back prawns, uh, little soft back prawns. Sorry, little peelers. So I'm going to get that cast over as far as close as I can get it to that wall and hope for something big. That's a pretty tidy cast, as I say so. I couldn't go too hard because I've got the uh, <coughs> microphone wire on here. It's a bit uh, intrusive. Well, right, we'll get this other rig back out. Flow starting to pick up now. I've had to up-tie that one a fair bit. I'll do the same with this one. Might have to loosen that off because the tie's pulling. 
especially if there's a fair bit of weed coming through. Okay, it's half nine, <coughs> it's way on the pole, or on the flood, but like Brett was saying yesterday on his video, the tides, the, pipe, the tide pull is just immense. Um, I've got seven ounces on, I could step up another ounce or two. Um, most I can go is nine ounces, but I've got seven ounces on now, might step up to eight, but I can't cast it very far out, it's just absolutely ripping. It's the first time I've seen the river bubbling and sort of like almost like a torrent coming down a river after a waterfall with rapids and stuff it's just really big I know we sort of I looked at the moon phases yesterday and oh and a waning uh, a waning moon phase it's, yeah well it's a sort of waning gibbous but um, it's two days before we go into the the third quarter and it's only about oh I'm gonna lose my rod hang on hang on I don't know what it is about the big rod, but uh, it's just not holding for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because of the big bait on the bottom and the flow. But the uh, two up, one down is not too bad. So I'm going to have to revert back to that. There's a little bit of weed as well, but as I say, I mean, uh, looking at the tides all week, the tides are getting smaller and smaller. So they must have had some really, really big, uh, hefty all tides I know it's been a lot of flooding still I mean it's still a hell of a lot of flooding so much rain but um, it's almost unmanageable I'll, I'm holding with this one I'm only casting a quarter of the way I'll just try to find a, a place in the river can't go to halfway it's just too too much and two thirds of the way across it's absolutely belting through I think I've got a little bite huh? Definitely something making it vibrate. This one's just literally dropped in over the edge. Just a short lob out. So.
<laughs> Just another pesky little crab. But I'll keep all these because they're the perfect size for making some bass baits and bits and pieces. Right. I'll keep them alive. They're just taking the uh, claws off. I'll pull the shell off and bound it on with a bit of squid and mussel or something. I know I said earlier that um, I won't be buying any more Christmas or any more uh, fishing equipment unless it breaks or goes wrong. Well, I think that might be the time. I just put on a eight ounce lead. It's my fault, really. I just give it a gentle sideways cast, but it should have been over my shoulder. I have to, to think the wrong angle on the blank. It was just a sideways flick. And now my rod is a four piece, not a three piece. But uh, it's a clean break, so I might be able to get a, keep all the good broken bits. Get some carbon dowling. And stick a piece of tube up each end, and I'll dye it in. And uh, stick it back together. But uh, the tide is so strong. And it wasn't the tide, it was just on the cast. But because I was going over my left shoulder, not my right, and swinging the lead back behind me. I tried to try to flick it sideways flick and I think it was just a pushing the blank in the wrong direction it's done it I never had any issues before you know casting out nine ounces so or oh, whether is it as that rod uh, went over earlier on and it just tapped the wall it might have uh, put a little crack in it or something that I didn't know about that's the only thing I can think when the roll went sideways and hit the wall. Might have just shattered it a bit. So a new rod's on the uh, horizon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still keep this one. I'd still do something with it. That's all there. Uh, I've got loads of old bits of broken rods, I'll stick a four or five inch section down each side, glue it back together as a clean break, so and then I have to just whip it over the top and stuff and <coughs> we're still only two YM, just getting loads of crabs. Baits getting stripped by crabs all the time. There's uh, about half a nine, quarter to ten. There's no point in putting another rod on. I've got, I've got another two rods in my bag, the blue ocean ones. But the way the tide's pushing at the minute, unless it starts to ease down, because they're just bounce and now I am up cut tired of them and these, these now I'm just literally not right down close to the wall but 10 yards 15 yards just to the bottom of the shell okay it's half past 10 <clears throat> it's really quiet on the flood but we're trying we're out we're trying so what I've just done is there's three little crabs took the backs and legs off uh, there's about four or five mussels and a nice bit of stripper squid and I put it together in a nice big crab mussel and squid bait pulley panel 3 out and a 2 out I'm going to get this cast out I hope for a cod <laughs> let's watch these people first let's watch the yeah, tide's still really strong and pulling <clears throat> but as long as you give it, let it hit the bottom, pay a load of line out, give it a bit of a belly of line, it's holding. So. Okay, it's very quiet at the minute. The wind's still blustery. Tide's calming down a little bit. Just had two guys turn up for an hour, <coughs> chatting to them. They've had nothing. They've packed up and gone. They just keep getting snagged, bouncing out. So what I thought I'd do is 
because I'm getting snagged as well, but fortunately, touch wood, I haven't lost any rigs yet. Just lost a hook or two. I'm going to see if I can cast it as far as I can, or at least into the bay. Get beyond that wall, so it's a bit more protected. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put on a four, like a four ounce gripper, and I'm just going to go for a simple up and over dropper rig. 25 pound hook length two o hook one single two o hook and a little bit of uh heron and squid so i've got it on like that the heron and squid just on a single hook a little bit bound the rig just slides up and <coughs> up the line till it reaches a clip goes up up the up and over clip at the end where it's clipped onto the shock leader I'm going to get this wazzed out as far as I can. Well that's gone out, it's only probably about 10 yards short of the uh, wall. <coughs> so I'm happy with that. See if there's any whiting over there. Okay guys, 1 o'clock, I'm back at the car, all packed up. <coughs> I would have stayed a bit longer but it's starting to feel a bit rough my throat and chest and that there's plenty of people out on the pier and there's plenty of people turned up to my right on the bend there but I can't see much coming out at all uh, but yes we, we got out we caught a few fish only two little white in I have my blanks but uh, I broke my rod <laughs> but uh, there you go it's just it is what it is i mean it's fishing like brett said it is fishing very hard at the minute I and mean, everyone i spoke to see one guy to my left had one white him being he stayed 45 minutes an hour at the tops and then left and it's pushing that hard um he's only using small leads and getting bounced around and snagged lost two or three rigs his worms got blown over the side and he's effing and behind and he's been Bought a new packet of worms with them, put them on the on the wall, one gust of wind and they were gone. They weren't a happy bunny. But yeah, that's it. Short and sweet today. Um so I hope you enjoyed it. It's just New Year's Day, it's good good to get out, clear your head. Plenty and thousands of people who walk well, hundreds of people walking around with the dogs taking a walk, with the kids, getting a bit of fresh air. And uh <coughs> Hope you have a good one. All the best for 2024 again. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to everyone who's commented on the videos. Thanks to all the people who helped and support and give me tips along the way. Waterside for Adventures. Brett. Connor. Tiggy. Um, yeah, I could, there's, there's loads of people. Um, thanks to each and every one. It just helps me keep going. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to uh, just thinking about it today. I could keep doing this, but you know, unless unless it gets really cold and I hear a few cod coming in, or March or April time, I'm going to have to start pushing myself hard. And and what I was thinking about the other night is it's a long way to come, 40, 45 minutes each way, just to come and get some worms. So I'll have to sort of see on my days off. Phone up, order some rag and lugworm. <clears throat> Travel through, pick them up at the Goulston Tackle Shop here. I'm not sure if Stalham is still open, but where I'm going to go, pick them up before the shop shuts. Drive up to where I'm going to go, have all my seats down, have a sleeping bag in there, and just do an overnighter. Um, save on petrol, but you know, two trips in one sort of thing, then I can get my bait and then just go from there and uh, so I'll probably try North Beach or Caister um, a few places like that trimming them but it's, it seems pointless at the minute just wasting your time fishing's hard um, bright sunshine you know, the tides at the minute every time I seem to go out is high tide at around midnight or midday um, which is not ideal 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. You're all the best and I'll see you again in another one. Cheerio.